Out of the many people trying to cut back on alcohol for dry January, there are a lot of breweries that are hoping that you're going to give their non-alcoholic options a try. Yeah, I went over to a Fulton Brewery in Northeast Minneapolis to see how they're making their hop water. There's about 5,000 gallons in a tank, so that works out to about 2,000 cases per tank. Fulton Brewing CEO Ryan Petz understands why people participate in dry January. He tells me it's okay to take a break and reevaluate your relationship with alcohol. And when beer is on the back burner for many, Fulton has been busy making non-alcoholic options. You know, I think uh, it presents opportunities for us in the alcohol business of new product lines, and um, we definitely want to meet people where they're at, and so. That's definitely part of the reason why we make something like hop water. Fulton's hop water tastes like an IPA style sparkling water. If you're a fan of hoppy beer, you might like this. Not only is it completely zero alcohol, but unlike any beers, um, there's no calories in it. It's gluten free, so you got no carbs, no sugar or anything like that. So it's really a pretty guilt free way to enjoy a more adult like beverage. Although hot water has only been around since 2019, Ryan tells me sales have been growing every year. It's a very simple process, very quick process, uh, which is nice because it works out really well uh, on, on our production side and makes for a really tasty beverage. As for Fulton's non-alcoholic beer, Ryan says the process of brewing an N.A. beer was challenging, time intensive and more expensive but he's hoping they'll revisit brewing one in the future. Definitely a product that needs to be discovered. It's not quite as, the idea of a hop water isn't quite as well known as an N.A. beer, but I think people who do discover it tend to love it. I love hop water. Do I you? actually, I, when I was pregnant, uh, Lagunitas, which is not local, they're California yeah. based, they have the Hoppy Refresher, which is the same kind of sparkling hoppy flavored drink. Yeah. And so it's cool that a local brewery now makes something similar so we can support local. There you go. Oh, well, that's always good. Yeah. And you're a beer girl, right? I'm a beer girl. Okay. So it tasted like a hoppy IPA beer. And I yeah. was like, this is really tasty. So what's new this year that people are kind of hopping on board with is Fulton's THC sparkling water. They have a blood orange or a lime sparkling water that's infused with about 4.2 milligrams of THC, which is from uh, Minnesota grown hemp. And so far, the reviews for that are good for those who enjoy that kind of stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you know, you lots, go. lots to discover. Let's, let's get to Ben. Uh